These are stem cells. And this is me getting stem cells in my freaking neck. Why? Because of this guy. You might have seen him on Rogan talking about mesenchymal stem cells. He sent me a text saying, <laughs> So all I had to do was take a quick and easy flight to Austin. Why would they let me watch this movie? Well, at least I'm not flying on a- Holy hell, we're all gonna die. And I made it. The reason I was so excited about this is because I've dedicated my entire life to health and fitness. One second. This is the trophy I got after taking other kids' souls during the jump rope for heart. Also, look at my dad's porn stash. I don't think I could pull that off. So to have access to what I feel is the cutting edge in terms of regenerative medicine is a dream come true. Because if you start paying attention, you're gonna notice all the elite athletes and everyone in the know has been taking this stuff for a long, long time. I can't say too much, but... German doctors are great. He is literally talking about LeBron going overseas to get stem cells. I made some major improvements. Yeah, buddy. And I've been researching this stuff for a long time, but never pulled the trigger because every company I reached out to, they come back with a quote of upwards of $25,000. And I had to fly to a different country. Nope. Turns out it doesn't have to be that expensive. And if you're interested at the end of this video, I'll show you how. So I'm assuming your first question is probably what do they even do? Well, in the United States, they can't claim to treat anything. But if you look at the clinical data, you're gonna see they're doing studies around pretty much every type of disease and injury you can think of. But what the hell is a stem cell? Solid question. This is a picture of a stem cell, but that's actually a horrible name for what they are because even the guy who first discovered them has since come out and said he regrets calling them that. The initial excitement surrounding stem cells has to do with the fact that it's a very unique cell. It has the ability to self-renew or multiply while still maintaining the ability to develop into different types of cells, meaning that it could turn into anything, blood, bone, nerve, skin, even muscle cells. But that's only possible in a Petri dish. When they're injected into the body, they don't work that way. They technically should be called signaling cells because when injected, they navigate to an area of need and secrete a variety of molecules that stimulate tissue repair, modulate immune responses, and support the survival and function of nearby cells. But don't let that kill your excitement because these things are powerful. They can do things that I didn't even think were possible. A good example of this is a study they did where they attached an old mouse to the back of a young mouse, which is pretty messed up and it's got a real human centipede vibe, but what they found is that older mouse showed significant improvements in terms of muscle repair, liver, brain function, among other things. And I think it's all due to the fact it was exposed to that younger mouse stem cells or signaling cells. Are we done? Shut up, you old bitch. Going forward, I'm gonna go back to referring to them as stem cells. It just makes it a little less confusing. The next thing you're probably asking yourself is, where did these come from and is this legal? Because I don't know about you, I previously thought you had to fly to a different country to get this done. The term harvesting stem cells has a pretty harsh connotation to it. It sounds like you're taking a bunch of babies, throwing them in a blender, and making margaritas. But that's not the case. In the US, all stem cells come from live births, so this guy's gonna go on to live a normal life. White chocolate. Pause it there. I don't know why I thought making it rain with this baby would illustrate it having a long and healthy life, but that's, that's what I did. Game on. That's how you shoot a f***ing baby. Take that, dude perfect. Stem cells are derived from several places, either the placenta itself or the cords, tissues, and blood, and one I'm sure you've heard of, the amniotic fluid that previously surrounded the baby before it got pooped out. What I received was an IV of purified amniotic fluid. That way it can work systematically, run through my system, find any issues, and then send signals to repair. And then I got the holy grail of stem cells, Wharton's jelly, injected into my freaking neck. And Wharton's jelly is just the goo inside the umbilical cord. This is not a great representation of it because it's a stupid model, so I'll put a picture up, but it's just got the highest concentration of mesenchymal stem cells and a rich extracellular matrix. The extracellular matrix is like scaffolding that helps tissue repair. That's why I inject it into my neck because it has a localized effect. And when I say this stuff is amazing and promotes healing pretty much everywhere, I'm not exaggerating. While I was there, this killer of men showed up. Like an anaconda, like and he that. gets the submission. He ended up being an incredible person, and we shared some Terry Blacks together, if you know, you know. But he was there because he didn't tap and let somebody break his ankle. I was there because I've been masturbating with the same hand my entire life, and now my neck hurts. We are not the same. I also missed running into Rogan by 20 minutes. I assume he's just trying to live forever, which 
I get. Because the neat thing about stem cells, while they don't differentiate when injected into your body, turn into different cells, what they do is find damaged or dying cells and donate their mitochondria, rescuing them. Which brings me to an important point. There's a huge difference between cellular and acellular. Acellular is what my wife got tricked into buying and what some clinics offer. Still rich in proteins and other beneficial things, but again, the true beauty is those live cells being able to donate their mitochondria and they have to be stored at negative 196 degrees Celsius. The moment they start thawing, they start dying. So if you go to a clinic and they pull it out of a lunchbox and it's not stored on dry ice, you just bought the most expensive injection of bullshit. Now this stuff does have its limits. If you're training chest and you tear your pec right off, it's not gonna reattach it, but partially torn? Yeah. I've even seen one where they injected people with congestive heart failure and they saw an improvement. What about that thing we all got sick from about three years ago, the one we do not speak the name of? The Voldemort's? Turns out it works for that too. Avaragada. But you know the thing I'm selfishly really excited about? Hair loss. Because I've tried everything. Dutasteride, a dermapen followed by minoxidil. Derek's homebrew kit for RU58841. I even have the laser cap, but, but by far the best results I've gotten is from PRP. It's, it's a pain in the head, but incredibly effective. Even, Even that doesn't compare to the before and afters I've seen when using stem cell treatments for hair loss. It's like they never even lost it. It's glorious. And Brigham doesn't know this yet, but I'm gonna fly back next month, show up on his doorstep because I wanna try it. Speaking of which, let me tell you why I like this Brigham guy so much. First off, yeah, his name is ridiculous, I agree. But I immediately connected with him and I think it's because damaged people surround themselves with other damaged people. He lost his brother to an overdose. I'm assuming that's why he does what he does. He doesn't do it for money. I'm sure he likes it and probably has a jar on top of his fridge, but he charges 4,500 bucks for stem cells. That's a half or a quarter less than everyone else. It's not cheap, I understand that, but if it avoids you having surgery, it's worth it. It's the same reason I didn't show this picture in the beginning of the video because it fucking hurts. Also, I just realized they gave me a baseball trophy for jumping rope. My mom ended up drinking herself to death. And I'd like to think that the man I am today and what I have access to could have saved her, but probably not. She was destined to burn out. But I know that's not the last time I'm gonna face some life altering problem. And I can speak for anybody who has, anytime you do, you don't even want the right answer. You just want hope. Fuck. I'm gonna link Brigham below if you're falling apart and need help. And you don't have to tell him my dumbass sent you. That's not why I'm doing this. I don't get paid for or anything. I just feel like everyone should have access to this. And don't worry, it's gonna cost me a fortune because my wife just found out you can put them on your face to increase elasticity. So pair that with my hair laws, I'm gonna have to pull 9K out of my ass. And as always, if you need help putting on muscle, programs are linked below, all 30 days, 20 videos, 20 bucks. Pretty damn simple. Wife, baby.